Today I'm going to make a little video on how to use a GM SPS service programming for blank modules uh, or reflashes uh, J2534. I'm working on a 2017 Acadia. Just put a brand new airbag control module in it and it needs to be configured. Uh, use the Bosch Master Tech anytime I flash GMs. You can get it for about half the price of a GM MDI and it uh, works exactly the same but you can use it on Honda and a lot of other OEMs. Uh, first thing you're going to do, you're going to log into uh, acdelcotds.com and sign up for a free account. And once you do that, you're going to have to purchase a subscription. And they have one here. It's the service programming only. Um, I've already got a subscription. So once you check out, I think it's $55 for two days. Give you everything you need to do service programming and uh, stuff like that. Um, next thing you're going to do is once you pay and check out, you're going to hit access your subscription. Uh, also, a little thing I'll touch on is you have to use Internet Explorer. Firefox doesn't work. Um, I don't think Chrome or anything else works. It has to be the newer version of Internet Explorer. Or else, when you go to check out and pay, it won't actually let you pay. Um, so if you're trying to figure out why you can't buy a subscription, it's because you're using the wrong browser. Uh, once you do that, we're going to click uh, access your subscription and we'll go to the next step. Okay, once you get to the next step, it's going to have a bunch of things for you to click on. It's going to tell you unread news and um, support now for Windows 10. I'm still using uh, Windows 7 64-bit. Just uh, scroll down, keep getting okay, hitting OK, and then hit OK again. and then it's going to bring you to the menu um, and what we're going to use is the service programming system SPS um, there's security access if you have a if you're a vehicle security professional or you can actually go to the RPO so if you're missing the RPOs in your glove compartment uh, you can get them per VIN again it's going to give you some warning uh, sometimes Java blocks the application from running It'll tell you that uh, so you may need to update your Java usually I leave the older version in so I don't have problems hit start SPS there's your Java block hit allow I will update it later because I know it works on the older version and it should start the SPS and it's gonna come online open up the SPS and usually it'll have to download the libraries which takes a little bit so once we get to that point right now it's downloading the libraries I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and once the libraries are done we'll go from there okay we're just about at the end it's downloaded and here we are um, I have a lot of different interfaces so your list might not look like this but what I am going to select here is my MVCI and you can either do reprogram ECU or replace and reprogram ECU. Reprogram would be if you're gonna like do a flash update over software. This one's blank right here, so I'm gonna hit that. Now it's gonna tell you the next steps. We're gonna turn off the ignition, make sure the battery's fully charged. Um, I actually have a charger on it. Turn the ignition on. Hit next. Okay, it's gonna ask you your model number here. Now, on I did notice I've done a lot of these uh, on the Silverados. It says old style, new style. Uh, has a lot of different uh, options, like on the trucks and the Suburbans. But e anyone will work. It's gonna read the VIN and automatically know. Um, we're gonna do MPV, and then we're gonna go to. here this is actually a GMC so used to doing Chevy 
Games, GMC, 2017, Acadia. And now it's going to read your interface. There's the VIN number for it. Uh, double check your VIN. Always double check your VIN, especially if you're working on older cars, because you never know what people have done before. But once the VIN comes up, and it's correct on this one, we are going to select the module. Okay, so the module I am after, this would be where you would find your computers, uh, pretty much every module in the car. You can scroll through the list. But what I'm after is the uh, sensing and diagnostic module programming and setup, normal programming, click next. It's going to communicate and it should bring up the options for the operating system and software calibration version. Okay, now it's telling me here you have the operating system, system, and calibration. Green check mark lets you know that it hasn't been installed yet. Um, sometimes on GMs, you're going to get a computer that you think uh, the calibrations or the flash might have got corrupted. You can actually overwrite it. It'll say that it's not a good idea, but I've done it quite a few times. Uh, I had one the other day I did where the throttle body wasn't relearning. So we went ahead and rewrote the flash, even though it said not to, and it actually ended up working perfectly. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit next. Uh, once you see the green check mark, it lets you know. It's going to connect to the server. It's showing you everything it's going to do. The whole programming procedure. I'm going to hit next again. And now we're going to start to download and reprogram. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Once we get near the end, I'll uh, show you where we're at. Okay, we ran through the procedure. Um, and then on these, I forgot it was a keyless entry. You actually have to hold the ignition switch for 10 seconds to get it to go into the on position. Then it tells you the programming pr procedure is complete. Let me give it just a minute here, and it should say... the vehicle on a flat level surface. Ignition on. Next. It's going to learn the yaw rate sensor. Now if you're just doing like a, a PCM or a TCM, you're not going to have to go through all these steps. Basically what it's going to do is once you're done with the programming, it's going to let you know that it's completed and if there's any additional um, steps needed it will let you know but most of the time it just says you're done uh, everything was okay and then you can uh, clear all the DTCs that were in the system this right here is telling me that it ran a test on this module that everything's okay it should pop up in a second and you're done uh, it tells you if you have a warranty claim or anything now um, what I was talking about a few seconds ago is there's mandatory things that you need to do. Uh, this says to clear the history DT, uh, DTCs and data, but uh, say you did a PCM and you had to resync uh, the immobilizer or something, it would give you a list here of stuff to do after you programmed the PCM. But really there's not much to it. GMs are pretty simple. Uh, it does all the work for you. Once you get your subscription, get the VIN put in, and select the computer you want, it'll let you know what needs to be done, what can be done, and uh, just follow the instructions. Hit next. Uh, real simple process. We're already done on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the DTCs out before I unhook my uh, VCI. And everything should be good to go. And that's all there is to it. Uh, vehicle's running now. Airbag light is off everything's off and uh, we're all finished if you have any questions or specifics you need to know about the gm sps or programming module go ahead and comment below uh, i know this system very well and if i miss anything uh, please you know fill me in or add to the comments
comments. Uh, thanks for watching.